here tonight. I, I sent a letter off to you um, a little bit ago, about a month ago, I guess. And, um, you know, we've been doing this every year, and it has been such a wonderful um, extension of our school by having the opportunity to film and film events and um, and educational programming. You know, some of it is adult-related. Um, we've had early childhood programming. Uh, John Judson, our media uh, coordinator, is now looking into some educational programs from like Discovery Ed and PBS and what we can and we can't broadcast, but we think those will be beneficial. Right now, all of our first and second grade teachers are preparing to read uh, afternoon stories to the kids. You know, they love to go home, see their teacher, and also get a, a good uh, a reading uh, from a good piece of literature. So. It's been wonderful. Uh, we, we've actually extended ourselves this year. John, as you know, is on the um, committee, the uh, cable committee. But in addition, uh, we, he did some work with Public Works this year, did some videoing for them for some projects that Chris wanted to have done. So I was particularly pleased about that because it's not the schools in the town or the Public Works. It's all of us together, working together. So whenever we have a chance to do that with the town, and, and be a part of all of the business, uh, that's really been our goal. So we uh, did a little bit of that this year, so I was pretty pleased about that. We've asked that, um, as, in, as we have in the past, um, we've asked for um, 30, I gotta make sure I have my number right here. Uh, $38,000. $21.32, and um, basically that will cover the costs, our personnel costs for, um, for, for, for John Judson, who works uh, in all of our schools and in the evening to record and do all the video and all of that. Uh, and then another addition of $8,700 for equipment. Um, you'll notice in the equipment list, um, it was really around replacing things, microphones and getting quality microphones because one of the one of the um, criticisms is is that people sometimes don't hear the messages clearly so we wanted to improve on that so you'll see in in the list uh, we have microphones you'll see some additional memory and hard drives the one big item that we're asking for this year is a handheld camcorder so that um, it's much easier to go out uh, when John's out on field trips, when he's out and about in the schools, it's a lot easier, especially if it's an activity, to have the ca handheld camcorder than it is to have the, the big heavy camera on a, tri on a tripod. So, tripod, so. Uh, any questions, any? Yeah. So you request the third just to come out of the uh, franchise yes. fee fund? Yes, yes. I have no questions. I have none, but I also, um, I want to, and I hope you guys, and I, I know I talked to Nate before and he came up with some prices, but have a, over the next five years or so have a, a plan. I know you've got a lot going on and, and uh, we want to make sure that you're, you're, the studio, the new one you have is, is equipped and so, so, so we can look at the future as it holds and see what there is. Right. We, we, as you know, in the, in the project, built in the project, will be the ability to record uh, and film live. For instance, uh, I've, I've, I've talked to uh, Fred and, and to Jamie about using the auditorium for your deliberative sessions, for your, your budget. All that equipment, we've met twice already. I actually have another meeting this week so that we can get some numbers and prices and really kind of begin to hone it down. So I will have that for you. It's, it's a great opportunity right. that while we're building it, to right. have that media part there. And there will be a studio that, you know, a, a smaller area. Our school board will have their meetings there now, and, and we won't be always trying to take days from, I know, your busy schedules. Um, but the auditorium will be um, all rigged so that we can video um, live as well as record um, uh, productions or whatever meetings we know we've had state meetings uh, I know that last year there was some you know meetings around um, the fishing industry at the beach and there, there's opportunities to use that facility and that was that has been our goal there isn't we have a community room as you know that stayed in the project which everyone was pleased about that one will not does not have at this point um, video 
capability, but with the equipment that John has, we easily can can uh, broadcast any event that's held in there because that's a smaller room. That's about 1,200, 1,300 square feet. Well, it'd be good to have that. We already, have, you know, that's what that fund is for. So we might as well, you know, at least have. I know we have some some upgrades here that we need to do too. But we should be. Well, if you know John <laughs> Judson, our media. Um, media uh, guru, if you will. Um, John doesn't miss a beat, you know, and so he's been on it, uh, working with a company out of Concord right now. And I'm going to uh, make the motion for the $38,221.32. Good. Do you have any questions? No. All right, I do. <laughs> Thank you. I'll second his motion. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, you, it, that's a great job, and Channel 13 is really good. And I really think, yeah, I was the one that pushed to have the 100% of the franchise fee go into the fund, and the reason was because that to upgrade Channel 22, who's doing a super job on it, on these guys who are working on their budget and getting it together, and the school also, to get up to where the towns are. A lot of towns are have have really quality uh, broadcasting, and they have, because of the equipment they have, they have the quality right. broadcasting, and I think it, it's really very important for us to do that, so I'm glad you're getting it together. And you know that this whole program has become very contagious, right? The kids are absolutely incredible. Um, John does take time to work with them, and they have become so proficient in production. They do shock news, as you know, at, at the middle school. But in addition to that, now they're out now and just filming and we actually have one of our teachers who um, will be presenting at a national technology conference on the kinds of skills that our kids in Hampton have learned around media production. It, it, they're incredible. Um, they took a field trip down to uh, NECN News, the last NBC Boston, the last two years, and right into the studio with all the broadcasters, with all the production people, and they were like incredibly impressed. And, first of all, they knew all the equipment, they knew how to use it. And it was just a really positive experience, and they were very impressed by this by our students' ability in that area. So it has become contagious in a, a very popular area that our it's kids. It's real educational tool. I had a, a I used to do that in the school. I used to teach. I used to run a news program with the students, and one of my former students went to has been now in three major metropolitan areas. He's now down in Dallas as an anchor. So he really is an education. I could talk positive. about this for a long time. Yeah. One last comment All is right. those students who gain an incredible amount of self-confidence. One, by simply being filmed, mm -hmm. you know, if John has an event, and their ability to get up in front of the camera and speak clearly and, with, and, and not be, you know, nervous. And, uh, and, and then the confidence they grow as they write script and produce, produce shows. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a wonder, wonderful Okay, all in favor? <laughs> Opposed? Unanimous? Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Good to see you. Good to see you.